and welcome to another video. We're off out early this morning because we are off to spend the day in Singapore. Because we're in Jobaru, we thought it'd be a really good opportunity to cross over the border as it's literally like a one kilometre drive, isn't it, over the bridge. Jacob's uncle, he lives in Singapore, so he's going to come over and get us and then we're going to spend the day there. He's got different things planned for us. Yeah, I think it's quite a packed itinerary, but really excited to try some different food and see Singapore, really. So yeah, let's, let's get going. Never seen so many motorcycles in one place. Oh, that's so cool. Jacob Balaz. We're heading back later this evening because it's really, really busy. jumped out the car at the marina. So we're in like, are we in like central Singapore at the moment? Uh, I don't really know to be honest. Oh, right. I don't think we are. I'm pretty sure we're quite near the edge because I think this leads out to the water. So yeah, we're just having a little wander around, having a look over the water and stuff. It's quite cool seeing all the, seeing the water and seeing all the buildings. I was saying it like reminds me of London almost because they've got like the big wheel and then all the bank buildings. It's really busy here, like yeah, for a Friday crazy busy. Morning, very we didn't think it would be half as busy. But very touristy, Yeah, lots of people taking photos and stuff. But yeah, it's all quite sort of, it looks quite kind of posh around here, doesn't it? Yeah. Assuming it'll be quite expensive. <laughs> We're going to go back and get in the car in a minute, carry on our little journey around Singapore. Stingray. 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 What sauce is it? Is it's, it kind like of, it's kind of the same sauce as this, but it just tastes different, right? Yeah. Uh, stingray. That's like the grilled chicken, and that's like a fish in a gulai sauce. This is the asam pedas. This is a sourish. Spinach. That's just the spinach. Yeah, this is just the sambal. Okay. Let's dig you in. said we were going for a light lunch. <laughs> Cleaned up. Yeah. What do you think? It was good. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty damn good, wasn't it? More local area now. Right, so we're in a restaurant. We're just about to get some roti kosai. It's been recommended to us. So I'm guessing they're different types of curry, coconut, I think. And then this is, that looks like it's got lentils in it. So, right, so can you give it Yeah, go on then. Okay. How do we do it? Just... Mm. Oh yeah, it's really like, it's really tomato. -y. It's like a pancake. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 
I think this is the first time we've seen Linda in this country. I think we might have seen Lynn, but I don't think we've seen Linda. So exciting. We've come to this temple, but I don't think we can get in. The gates are all locked. Looks really cool though. Right, so we've come to Singapore Airport. We go to the Jewel, which I'm not sure what it is. I think it's like a big like garden thing. I think it's like quite a big like tourist attraction. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. What's the most amazing thing I've ever seen? They're like perfectly spherical scoops of ice cream. Oh, it's a food bank. Yeah. Is it a food bank? Oh. So I wonder if people donate stuff. Yes. Maybe it's like a discounted, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Where? Hello. Hello. Oh. Take two for the botanic garden. Hopefully it's going to be a lot quieter. So we're at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. It's been really nice just looking around, looking at all the flowers and the smells are just incredible, aren't they? Yeah, although, well, I can just smell pollen and I feel like my hay fever is going to kick off oh. anything. No, I think... <laughs> I didn't think of that. Just like when I smell pollen, I straight away just think hay fever and so I'm like... Ooh. Yeah, That's there's really just nice. so many different flowers and so many different types of orchids like I would never even have known existed. Mm. But what's cool, the bit that we're in at the moment is, well they're like hybrid orchids, yeah. named after different celebrities and things. So I think when we go out in a minute we can go and actually look and find them Yeah. and then it will say the names. But there's ones for like Prince William and Catherine and Hi. Queen Elizabeth, Nelson Mandela. So this is the orchid for Princess Diana. This orchid is named in memory of Diana, Princess of Wales, on 22nd of September 1997. Joe and Jill Biden, big up. Got 
Maggie T. Where's old Queen Lizzie? just finished wandering around the orchid gardens well we've kind of been ushered out because it closes at seven but I think we're allowed in this bit for a bit longer this place is just amazing there's just so much to see I feel like I want to take a picture of absolutely everything everything's so well kept I was just saying how difficult it must be to like maintain it all it's been a really lovely time to come coming this late because we got here maybe about five and now it's seven so it's just been like a really nice time of day to come because it's not been busy at all and it's been a bit cooler which has been nice just gonna have a wander around and then we are off to the light show so looking forward to seeing what that's about otters crossing that would be so cool if we could see the otters I don't think I've ever seen such giant lily pads. Yeah. I feel like I could jump on them. I want to see a frog on one of them. This is the London one. 12 o'clock. So 12 o'clock. It's midday. Lunchtime. Lunchtime at home.
emotional. At the end, I was like, oh, I could actually start crying now. I had to like pull myself together. For someone to, like, who never cries. I know. But don't they say that opera can have like really that profound effect on people? Yeah. I think I could have cried, but I kind of like held it in. And great that it's free. It's free to yeah. come to and free to watch. Would definitely recommend. Yeah. going to see. I feel like I'd want to come again next time because apparently it's different every time you come. Yeah. Different music, different lights obviously. They probably change it up every month or so, don't mm, they? Yeah, we'll definitely have to come when we visit Singapore properly. Bring a blanket because you want to like be lying down to like see it properly. Yeah. Um, my hands are home. <laughs> yeah, the floor's not the most comfy. <laughs> now we're off to go and get chili crab. Apparently, yeah. if you come to Singapore, you have to have chili crab. Yeah. So and we've not had it yet, which is quite quite surprising since we've been in Malaysia for like a month now. But yeah, I'm excited to try it. Hopefully, it won't be too hot. I was going to say you don't sound you weren't too excited like a minute ago well, when you were asking about how spicy. Chili crab. It. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not going to be too hot. Your first thoughts. <laughs> We're going to get a live demonstration of how to break the crab. If you eat the body, you don't need to take much of the crab. Oh, okay. So these are the legs. These are the legs, and the legs attached to one one section of the body. Oh, wow. This is the claw now. Yeah. And the different parts taste different. Yes, it does. The connoisseurs will go for the body, while the children will go for the, the claw. It's very, it's very messy. It is. I was going to say I'm scared. I know, I am too. <laughs> oh, so I pull the meat off with this? Yeah, you can pull the meat off with the fingers as well. It, it, yeah, it, well, it, it's quite hot. You can like pinch the meat off with Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm really scared it's going to like flick everywhere. The sauce is really nice. Yeah, it smells it's chili crab. It's like, is it, it's it's chili like crab. tomato meat. Oh, it's it not is spicy. Cool. Yeah, it is spicy, but not. Right. Ah, there you go. Sorry, it's alright. I, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, exposed skeleton is the is out. Sorry. So is this the best crab you've eaten? I've never I've already looked a state right now. I've got chili crab all over my mouth. I'd be all over your hands. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. It was great. Somehow. Especially the bad ones. Somehow, mm -hmm. Uncle is making a lot less of a mess than I am, but it's good. Yeah. The sauce was really good, wasn't it? Mm. What's it called? Spirulina Green Monster Lager. Mm. It tastes nice, it tastes weird, but it tastes it, 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 it doesn't taste anything like lager. It just what tastes What does it taste like? It looks like apple juice. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes maybe a bit like aloe vera almost or something. I don't know. Cheers. <laughs> on Singapore in relation to Malaysia what are you thinking it's difficult to be fair because on one hand they're like so similar but then on the other they are like completely separated in terms of how, how do you think they were similar because I think they're really different obviously like the food and the yeah the 
the people and stuff like because when you walk around you feel like you could just be in the middle of KL or something at points because it's developed and stuff and yeah I suppose you could if you were going to compare it to anywhere you'd compare it to KL as a country I feel like you can't compare it to Malaysia oh they're worlds apart as a country I yeah guess. because I didn't realise that Singapore didn't know it was what's it called as something a city, a city um, state yeah. which is like really interesting that a city can also be a country but yeah. I think that's what makes it so unique I feel like if you were comparing Singapore to KL you'd be like oh okay you can see similarities but if you're comparing Singapore to Malaysia I feel like they're worlds apart yeah the prices were obviously a lot more expensive I knew it was going to be more expensive but I was shocked at how much more expensive it was mm. and when you go to the hawker centres and the hawker centre gives you like the cheap food and stuff that's just so much more expensive it's like probably like four times or three times the amount of yeah Malaysia, it was like. almost like comparable to England it was a really lovely day we really enjoyed ourselves yeah. definitely would like to go back I don't know if we would stay over because I don't know that we would want to pay to stay there I would definitely like come back for a day again at some point I think we, we should go for like a proper trip and maybe go for at least a few days I feel like we did all the, all the like highlights we packed so much into one day and did all the like best bits mm. I'm sure there's much more to do oh, yeah. but it was just so amazing to see like the jewel to see the light show to see the gardens like all in one day it was very memorable wasn't it mm. and I feel like I wouldn't change anything about it like it was no. such a lovely day and all the food we ate and yeah. It, yeah it was so nice so in comparison to Malaysia what I would say is you can't compare them Singapore is like a city in itself you can probably compare Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I think the same. They're they're incomparable, but they're both so great in their own ways. And yeah. I think Malaysia has so much that Singapore doesn't offer, and vice versa. Yeah, I think Singapore is great for like a day trip, but unless you're like loaded, I don't think you could stay there for like a week or whatever because you end up spending so much money. For the moment, with how expensive it is, especially in comparison to Malaysia, well, I don't know why we wouldn't just stay here. Yeah. and spend our money here because you get so much more for it. It was a really nice day though. I'm so glad yeah, we I went and yeah. saw everything and experienced what, what it's like. But I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.